So I did another little follow up here to the Blutie. Um, all right, so I did another little follow up here to the Blutie. Um, I do like this model, but it only goes up to, I think, 600 watts, which means you cannot run a hair dryer or a really big fan or anything else off it. So I know there was somebody who posted that they didn't like it and they were getting rid of it as quickly as possible, etc. Um, so it's not for everybody because it doesn't have a tremendous amount of power, but I didn't want a tremendous amount of power. 600 watts is fine with me. So um, the, the nice features are that it, it, uh, it shows the display. Boy, that's gonna bounce. Okay, so um, it shows the output in 60 hertz watts. Then it tells you how much it has, 100%, and then how many watts are being input over here. So when you, you plug it in or whatever, you can see that, boy, that's going to bounce a lot. Anyway, um, so I was going to show you, it has this really cool, really nasty light on it that'll blind you. I mean, it, it's bright, so. And it has three different settings. That one flashes. The other two are steady. So I'm going to lock myself here in the bathroom and show you the difference between the and this is my my flashlight, um, it has a, a main setting and then it has these guys that come out and give you extra light and then it gives you um, both of them all together so you get a, a pointed light plus a, a little bit uh, flared light as well. So I'll, I'll do those off here in a minute. And what I'm going to show you is painting I did when I was in college. Okay, so I'm going to close the doors on the bathroom here, and we'll get right to it. Okay, so distance is about seven feet. So out go the lights. So that's the first setting on my flashlight. And I'm going to use it with the diffused light. And then with the center light and the diffused light. So you can see how much light that provides. All right. I'll turn that off. And there's the first setting on the Blutey. Second is brighter. And of course, when you get the flashing thing. So there we go. That's how bright that light is. I assume the Flashing means something to somebody, but uh, I have no idea what it is. So I did not keep the manual on the Stanley flashlight, but um, but I thought I would show you uh, one of the nice features that. This is how I got all my times and all that fun stuff. So, plug it in and plug it into what you're going to charge and then hit the power button. Oh, I had to press it a second. It says AC. So, it is using. to charge the flashlight indicated by the flashing blue light on the flashlight it's 
So it's saying it has, at this rate, it has 26 hours of charging left um, in the battery. So, as you can, I mean, it's nice. Again, you can't, you know, hook up a hair dryer to it for your wife when you're out camping, but it will run a smaller fan um, through the night. It won't run a big, huge fan uh, through the night, that's for sure. Uh, which is fine with me, because again, it wasn't, it was never in my needs. It was just being able to do small stuff for a short period of time. If the power goes out, or if I go camping, uh, hunting in my, and I sleep in the back of my truck, this would allow me to run something small and then charge it during the day while I'm out running around in the woods. And then when I came back, hopefully this would be completely charged. I do plan on doing testing with this uh, setup. Uh, by putting it in my, I'll drain it and then put it in my truck and put the solar panel in the windshield and uh, see how that goes and then keep track of it throughout the day. But I have to wait for summer because right now um, it's hot, but it's overcast. That's why it's so humid. So anyway, hope that helps you guys somewhere. Have a good one.